In this video, I'm sharing my top picks for new teachers on an Amazon teacher wish list. My name is Brooke, I'm a middle school history teacher in California, and let's get to it. So you're about to create your very own Amazon teacher wish list, but you don't know what to put on it. Here are some tools that might come in handy for new teachers and their new classrooms. First, before we get into what to put on your Amazon teacher wish list, make sure that you know what your school provides for you. Because the last thing you want is people donating things that you actually already have available to you in your classroom. So find out for sure, do, do they provide tissues for your students? Do they provide expo markers for you to use? Um, what is it that you need and what does your school provide for you before you really start developing your wish list? So my school does provide expo markers. However, they provide the black expo markers and a lot of times those leave weird residue on your board and they just don't fit the aesthetic, you know? And if you're gonna write a lot of notes on your board, you wanna feel the vibes, okay? So um, for me, I have like a specific pack of expo markers that I like, it has certain colors in it and that brings me joy. So that goes on my teacher wish list every year. Um, and of course, if I don't have them, I will just use whatever the school gives me. But this really helps me be be a joyful teacher. So I put Expo markers on there, especially if your school doesn't provide whiteboard markers for you, you definitely want those. Some teachers need a whole class set of Expo markers and not just what they need for the teacher. So Expo markers is a great thing to put on your wish list. One of the first things I would put on your new teacher wish list is dry erase marker holders, the magnetic ones that stick on the back of your board. So this is not a dry erase marker holder, but it shows you how they come with magnetic strips on the back. And then you have these little cup holders or magnetic holders and you slap them onto your board and now you can find the things you want. This is actually a file holder, but you get the idea. They're super helpful. I love that I can store my markers upside down so that the ink flows properly and I have my eraser and my stuff is all right where it's supposed to be. I need things to be where they are the first time I look for them. That was aggressive. And speaking of magnets, I love magnetic tape. I am blessed to have at least one whiteboard that is magnetic, and so I'm able to put a schedule up there that can be shifted around just using laminated paper on magnets. So I use that magnetic tape to put up things like my expectations or different posters that, that can be moved and removed, <laughs> all right? One of the things that I put on my teacher wish list every year, not just my first year as a teacher, is a bulletin board borders. Bulletin board borders. So I'm obsessive about keeping my borders. So these are actually used borders that I feel like are good enough to be reused next year. I really love this specific border and it keeps going up in price every single year. So asking for more than you need is always a good thing and then you can just store it up for the next year. I definitely have a pack of unopened ones right there, but I preserve and care for my borders as much as I can. Obviously there are gonna be some that are trash by the end of the year and don't get to be reused, but definitely ask for bulletin board borders to help make your classroom look like a home. A border on a bulletin board makes a lot of difference. Other tools you'll need as a new teacher are things like command strips and hooks. Really think about what posters you're gonna be hanging up, what pictures you might be hanging up, schedules or whatever you're gonna have on the walls and think accordingly what kind of 3M tape or hooks am I gonna to need to take care of this business and add those to your wish list. One of my favorite items in my classroom is my teacher toolbox. I love having everything organized. There are so many small things you have, like pins and paper clips and staples and note cards, and all of these things can fit real nicely in your teacher toolbox. And it does not have to be all beautifully aesthetic like the Instagram teachers are. I'm in, going into my fifth year of teaching and I still have yet to put labels on it, and yet I still use it every single day. I got mine on Facebook Marketplace for like $5, and my husband has one sitting on the garage shelf as well. So, I mean, this is not the garage, this is my office. So a teacher toolbox for me has been life-changing. I love knowing where everything is in these little tiny drawers and not having a whole bunch of stuff in my teacher desk drawer. Like, cause those desk drawer organizers are cool, but having them put away in a drawer kind of on a shelf is a lot nicer for me. In that same vein of organization, those Sterilite organization drawers where they're like a set of three and they come either in the like paper size one, which I have two of those. And then I have two of the smaller ones where you can fit pencils or pens or markers. I have those ones at my student station for the students to borrow things from me. Those are amazing. I cannot, I know they're expensive, but I cannot recommend more having those on your teacher wish list because I have never gone a year without using those. Another tool I recommend for your Amazon teacher wish list is a laminator and some lamination pouches. 
I just can't count the number of times that I have laminated stuff from home because I designed it on my computer at home or something like that. Or I just took the laminating home because I wanted to watch TV while I laminated. It's so much easier to do it on your own personal device than maybe on that big clunky one that the school has. And those ones are great for posters and things, but yeah, you know, anyway. Get your laminator on your wish list. Another tool you should add to your Amazon teacher wish list is a hot glue gun. I've used this for student projects. I've used this to repair things in my classroom. Having a hot glue gun on hand is really, really nice. Um, some people opt for the battery operated one. I have a nice corded one, but it's still just super nice and so good to have around in the classroom. You never know when you're gonna need it. And when you do, you'll wish you had it. There are a few products in my teaching career that have changed my life and one of them is a staple remover. Not just any staple remover, but this specific type of staple remover. Taking things off bulletin boards with the little claw clamper, no, use this one and your life will be forever changed. Add it to your teacher wish list. All right, if I wanted to, I'm a middle school teacher, our students do not bring in their own scissors, so if we want them to do any kind of art project, any kind of crafting, any kind of cutting something for their interactive notebook, I have to provide those scissors for them. So I consistently add uh, child scissors onto my Amazon teacher wish list year after year. Something you wanna to add to your teacher wish list are positive reinforcement items. This can be something for your treasure box if that's something you have set up. Um, I usually like to use like water bottle stickers or the squishy little squisher mix squisherins. I don't know what they're called. But you know those little animals that are squishy? My students love those. Uh, Smarties, I like to use Smarties and be like, you're a smarty, have a smarty, right? Like when they give a good answer or something. Other ones that go well in my classroom are the Tootsie Roll Fruit Chews or Jolly Ranchers. Just small little candy items that can go a long way. The stickers are a big hit, the squishies are a big hit. Find out what your students are excited about and add those to your teacher wish list. One tool that I think you should put on your Amazon wish list as a new teacher is a tool set. One of those zip up, it can be Amazon Basics, it doesn't have to be, I don't even know what the fancy, oh, it doesn't have to be DeWalt you know, level of stuff. But when you need a screwdriver or you need a measuring tape or you need a hammer, it is so nice to be the one with those items. It's something that I use year after year and maybe I don't use it every single week, but when you want them, you don't want to be hunting all over the school looking for just that one little screwdriver. I need a Phillips, anybody? Anybody got a Phillips? You do, because you are prepared and you put it on your Amazon teacher wish list. Lots of other items you could add on there are kind of extra things, things that make life a little better. Things like a carpet or posters for your classroom or um, curtains for the walls or a welcome mat or different things like that that help make the place at home. But remember as a first year teacher, those things are extra. Like you are what makes the place a home. So those are some of the items that I suggest to you as a new teacher that can help you have a classroom set up that really serves you in your first year of teaching. Be sure to check the description below. I'll add links to the things that I love that have been on my Amazon teacher wish list as well and that I use in my own personal classroom. And most of all, make sure you enjoy the journey as you become a professional educator. I will see you in the next one.